Hey high school, I just wanted to talk to you a tiny bit about adding background to your self-portrait if you're using oil pastels. So again, as you've been working, and this is a different sample, so if you're like, why does it look different? I encourage you to leave your colors on the paper. Um, that will create small little marks of color. Then, because your portraits are have so much color happening in them, you want to look through the colors and pick the lightest color that you have. Although I wouldn't use yellow if you have a lot of yellow in the face. What you want to have happen is there be something in the background so the work looks finished, but you don't want it to compete with the colors that are happening in your work. Okay, so, um, Again, you should have lots of small marks. I happen to have this color. Where is it? It's sort of like a tannish. And um, again, I'm just going to add that color into my background. You can see that I've also included a little bit of blue in this example. Um, let me spin this around for you. A little bit of blue and a little bit of brown. And to do that, or tan, I can just, I'll work down in here where the paper's still empty. Um, I can just sort of use the color sideways um, and just bring a little bit of color into it. But then I really sort of want to neutralize that so it doesn't stand out quite so much. Um, if your portrait is very, very purple and you have not used any yellow or orange in your work, you could use that color too a little bit. Um, another thing that you could do is find a serviette um, and if you even wanted to lend some of that background just a little bit to soften it up, that would be okay too. And in your two packs of oil pastels, um, that for those of you who picked those up, there should be um, some lighter colors happening. So that is just a brief little suggestion bit about the background. Something neutral, something really light. But again, I've got some flecks of color happening in here um, for a few reasons. One, I had those oil pastels sitting in my on my paper, and now there's all these little marks. If you need to drop a few more, you can. That light color will sort of blend those together. Um, another thought, you don't have to go all the way to the edges of your paper. Um, let's see, put a little bit more blue in here, a little shadowy blue. And I've got this peach color that I'm also sort of using. And oh, wow, did you just see what happened? There was some brown here, and this peach just totally smeared that out. Or maybe it was some color on the background. Okay, have fun finishing your self-portraits. Um, no class Friday, it's Kenyan holiday, and next week we will start something new. We will jump into design to finish... Um, the year out. Hope that helps.